and they are well organized sophisticated and industrialist they are hungry little beast whatever comes in their way sell me ta do some trade they farm they hunt and when it is time they fight for their territory and to survive in the end only one colony survives and joins the ranks of empires of the undergrowth that all thing is great but what is ant well according to an cambridge article ant a very small insect that lives under the ground in large and well organized social groups although this article needs few correction like ants are generally small and not all ants live under the ground some live in trees and leaves all right now it's the time to dive deep into an ant world to understand the present first we have to understand the past i mean let's talk about evolution of ants so ants have evolved from the wasp and now i will show you how this has happened so the story goes like that a wasp was flying in the sky and suddenly she lost her wings for no goddamn reason and then she fell on the ground and was like i have no wings what do i do now wait i still have my legs i can walk come on friends let's walk together like a colony and that's how ants have evolved just trust me this is an accurate reason don't look up now from the scientific point of view she evolved from westpoid wasp ancestors in the cretaceous period and diversified after the rise of flying plants more than 2500 of an estimated total of 20000 species have been classified all right now it's time to talk about life cycle of ants so now i will explain each of the following step briefly step 1 virgin male and female alates fly off from their nest to mate and then the female and male alate mates the male alate dies in the process then the female alate drops to ground remove her wings because they are no longer needed and then find a good and humid place to lay their eggs and start a colony like this in this clip you are seeing this is a queen ant and she is digging up her claustral cell and in this space the queen ant will lay her eggs take care of them till then the eggs become adult workers and then this is an ant colony and that's how an ant colony starts in short the queen will enter the chamber seal the entrance lay her first batch of eggs and patiently tend to them until they hatch into adult workers and now the eggs have developed into workers and the first generation of workers are called nanny tags and generally the first generation of workers is the weakest generation and ironically the first generation of workers have the highest workload because they are weaker and they are few in number and now i will explain division of labor between ants they are like communist majority of workers stays inside the nest and often the youngest members of the colony try to stay inside the nest and they tend to eggs larva broods take care of the queen and repair the nest and other kind of stuff and the remaining members have to 
head out in the world to find some food i mean they have to do the work of foraging defending their homeland diplomacy and other kind of stuff they are they have a very vital task of bringing food to the colony so that the colony can grow more and more and become massive one day and that's how a colony from one single queen ant became a colony of thousands of hundreds of thousands of workers strong and then the colony will start to produce their own reproductive they will start to produce their own male and female allele so that the cycle can continue and the reproductives i mean the wing dance are special they require tremendous amounts of food nutrients i mean carbohydrates and proteins for their growth they are very expensive and valuable and often the poor workers have to break their backs in the fields but it's all worth it in the end and it is my humble request to all of you who are watching my video please do not kill ants do not crush them do not break the wings of the alates because they are very expensive for their colony and they are they have a vital role in the nature so just do not kill them but you can pet them all right now let us differentiate between female alate and male alate female alates are diploid while male alates are haploid female alate have two copies of each chromosome while male alate have a single copy of each chromosome fertilized eggs develop into females unfertilized eggs develop into males examples of female alates are the workers queens and female alates are female ants while male alate is only a male ant as the male alates die soon after mating so the future generation will never be able to see their papa So guys this is the end of the video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it and your insight about ants just grew larger ants are wonderful pets this is ants india peace out and guys take some time to mourn the dead fathers male alates all right guys once again thank you for watching and if you have any doubt regarding ants just dm me at my insta account or you can email me or you can join our discord servers all links in the description